The Shepherdess and the Chimney Sweep Have you ever seen a very old cupboard or cabinet, quite black with age, carved all over with trailing stems and leaves? There was a cabinet of this kind in a sitting room. Once it had belonged to the family's great-great-grandmother. It was covered from top to bottom with carvings of roses and tulips, surrounded by curly flourishes, while through the spaces numbers of little carved deer poked out their antlered heads. But in the middle there was the complete figure of a man, well, of an odd sort of character. He was comical enough to look at, for he had legs like a goat's, small horns coming out of his forehead, a long beard, and a peculiar sort of grin. You could hardly call it a smile. The children of the house called him Brigadier, Major General, Captain, Sergeant, Corporal, Goat Legs. The name suited him, they thought, because it was hard to say. Besides, who else, living or carved, ever deserved such a title? Anyhow, there he was and his eyes were turned all the time to the table under the mirror. For on the table stood a lovely little china shepherdess. Her shoes were gilt. Her dress was neatly pinned with a china rose. She also had a golden hat, and she held a shepherd's crook. Oh! She was beautiful. Close beside her was a little chimney sweep. He too was made of china. All of him was black except his face, which was pink and white as a girl's.